This is a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Mother of Pearl unboxing, which I um, did in January. Um, this material is by Jonathan Brooks, and a lot of us know this as abalone. However, I think there is an actual material called abalone in this Momento Zero Grande as well by Leonardo that is exclusively available only to a pen shop in Korea called Limited Pens. So when I received this and when I bought this in January, it was three months after it was first launched. And a lot of places, mainly in the US, they've sold in one case overnight. So I just assume this is the second batch and therefore unnumbered. But later on, after I filmed this, I realized that this is actually part of the first batch and therefore numbered. And I didn't show you here because I didn't know. The number can be found on the cap in the opposite side of the clip and it's very, very discreetly done. So the ink has been wrapped and packaged separately, which I truly appreciate because it makes it safer for the pen. But as a result, uh, you, you can see in the box, um, the container for the ink reaches all the way down to the bottom. So this tray is not removable. And so when you uh, take the pen in and out like that, that strap tend to be quite stretched. It came in a plastic bag like so and without the plastic tag for some reason. Maybe they forgot to put it on. I'm not sure, but it doesn't really worry me. And so I pick the trimming, uh, the metal trimming that's uh, silver because I want the uh, mother of pearl to stand out. As you can see here, the black is actually green and Jonathan Brooks himself uh, informed us on Instagram that abalone, which is the material exclusive to limited pens in Korea, uses actual black, used actual black pigment while here it's green. So the hue is a little bit greenish here. Overall, uh, combined with the silver, I found this whole overall tone to be a lot more cooler, while fountain pen, um, limited pens in South Korea only um, have the abalone in rose gold, and so they look a little bit warmer. I may have the opportunity to compare the two, um, uh, so stay tuned. So here is the Leonardo ink that's been wrapped up uh, separately, and it's black. I wish I had a choice and I would have... If I did, I would have picked probably purple. This package actually went um, uh, awry and ended up in Australia for some reason. But the shop was so helpful and coordinated with DHL to reroute the package from Australia back to New Zealand. So there, there were a bit of a delay, but um, I, couldn't, I couldn't thank the shop enough. I've been very, very happy with my whole experience. So stay tuned for a review. This will make an uh, inking rotation soon. Um, I forgot to mention the feed is ebonite. So it's black ebonite. And um, yeah, thank you again for those who have purchased uh, some of my pen collection because you allow me to continue collecting and to continue buying pens like this. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It will help the video rotate a bit more. And if you like the kind of videos that I post, please consider subscribing. I also have stationeries um, like Hobonichi and the Superior Labor, and as well as books that I will talk about soon. Talk to you then.